I know you've been making some frantic effort to restore some yes. kind of sanity in that yes. area. But how far have we gone and how bad is the situation currently? Yeah, maybe how good today, because let me start from how good it is. You know, one and a, or close to a year ago, when we saw the absolute danger that the, the activities of vandals and oil tips are causing to our country, uh, we started a process with the approval of Mr. President and his directive that do something different. And therefore, we brought on the table all the government security agencies, private security contractors, communities, our partners, everybody on the table to say, look, we need to do something different. And we came up with a scheme that will respond to that situation. Now, at that point in time, uh, when you pump, uh, say, 100 barrels of oil to Boni Terminal, you receive probably two or three. That means uh, you are losing, sorry, about 10. That means you are losing over 90% of the production along the pathway. And companies, you know, once they see this happen for one or two days, they'll shut down. Because you, you won't continue to produce. At a point, Bonnie Terminal was doing zero. And you have to shut it down. You have to shut it down because there's really nothing else you can, you can do because the five lines is simply not manageable. You can't operate it. And then the, the scale of this, uh, this disaster is that, you know, we have taken down close to uh, over 3,000 illegal refineries since we started. And 3,000 is a large number. And of course, when you have infraction on your five lines, attachments in, uh, to your live five lines, you know, they make it weak, they make it inoperable, and of course, the activity that we have done has reduced this substantially. Now, how do you know it has worked? Today, Boni Terminal losses is less than 2%. That means when you pump, even though we still have the insertions on the pipeline, the containment that we have with the government security agencies and the private security contractors, how we have manned the pipeline, it has made it impossible for those new illegal refineries to come off in the speed that they were doing before.